Jefferson Davis was trying to win a war while forging a nation out of 11 states suspicious of even the most trivial move towards centralized government. When Davis called for a day of national fasting, the governor of Georgia ignored it, then named a different fast day of his own. I entered into this revolution to contribute my might to sustain the rights of states and to prevent the consolidation of the government. And I am still a rebel, no matter who may be in power. Governor Joseph Brown of Georgia. The Confederacy has been done to death by politicians. Mary Chestnut. Pardon me, a South Carolinian wrote his congressman. Is the majority always drunk? Vice President Alexander Stevens believed Davis weak and vacillating, timid, petulant, peevish, obstinate. Stevens left Richmond in 1862, rarely to return. I make no terms, Davis once said. I accept no compromise. He refused to unbend in public or to curry favor with the press. Privately, he commuted nearly every death sentence for desertion that reached his desk explaining that the poorest use of a soldier was to shoot him. He's uh, often described as a bloodless pedant, uh, a man who filled all his time with small time paperwork and never anything else, an icy cold man who had no friendliness in him. I found the opposite to be true in all those respects. Davis is an outgoing, friendly man, uh, a great family man, loved his wife and children, uh, infinite store of compassion. Lee said it best. He said, uh, I don't think anyone could name anyone who could have done a better job than Davis did, and I personally don't know of anyone who could have done as good a job. That's from Robert E. Lee, which is pretty good authority. Davis may well have been the only Southerner who understood Southern nationality who understood what sacrifices had to be made if the Confederacy was ever going to gel as a nation. He kept saying, I need the kind of powers that Lincoln got. I need the kind of uh, resources that he got in the draft laws. I need to be able to suspend the writ of habeas corpus like he did. He would have said, we can't live by the dogmas of the quiet past any longer. He didn't say that, but he acted that out. He said, I have to be given the kinds, this Confederate government needs the kind of national authority, national power that the Union had in order to win and they didn't get it because the state's rights helped kill the Confederacy. A single cake of soap now cost a dollar and 10 cents, a tenth of a soldier's monthly pay. At the beginning of 1863, a barrel of flour cost $70 in the South. By year's end, it cost 250. The Confederate Treasury cranked out millions of dollars in notes unbacked by gold. Southern printing was so primitive that counterfeiters were sometimes caught because their work was too good. By 1862 and 63, the South suffered from terrible inflationary currency. What was really at a premium was a Union gold dollar, so that the Confederate people could never get away from the Union, not even economically. If the Confederacy is defeated, it will be by the people at home, Atlanta Southern Confederacy. Thousands of women, infuriated by soaring prices, stormed through downtown Richmond shops, smashing windows and gathering up armfuls of food and clothing. Troops tried to stop them, and Jefferson Davis himself came out, throwing what money he had in his pockets to the crowd and begging them to blame the Yankees, not the government. Then he warned the troops would open fire if they did not disperse. The women straggled home. Patriotic planners would willingly put their own flesh and blood into the army, but when they were asked for a nigra, it was like drawing an eye tooth. Senator Lewis T. Wigfall, Texas. Farmers were called upon to contribute one-tenth of their produce, and the Confederate Army was empowered to impress male slaves as laborers, provided a monthly fee was paid to their masters. Planters moved their slaves inland, away from the government and the fighting. 150,000 slaves were marched all the way to Texas. Hundreds, perhaps thousands, died along the way. War traced Tennessee, 
June the 10th, 1863. I have just heard from Hilliard's Legion. They're deserting every day. They say they don't get enough to eat. I've just bought me a testament. I gave $2 for it. Everything's high here. Benjamin Franklin Jackson. I saw a sight today that made me feel mighty bad. I saw a man shot for deserting. There was 24 guns at him, and they shot him all to pieces. He went home, and they brought him back, and then he went home again, so they shot him for that. Martha, it was one sight that I did hate to see. By the end of the year, two-fifths of the Southern Army would be absent, with or without leave. Deserters sometimes banded together, often fed and clothed by Union sympathizers. In North Carolina, the pro-Union Heroes of America had over 10,000 members. By the end of the war, Unionists from every Confederate state except South Carolina had sent regiments to the North. In Jones County, Mississippi, a guerrilla band ran off tax collectors, burned bridges, and ambushed Confederate columns for three years. Reporters called the region the Kingdom of Jones. <laughs> 